when in disgrace with fortune in men's eyes. Oh, good, just shake it up. Yes. I all alone beweep my outcast state. And the other all And trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries. Oh, good, then drop down. And smile. look upon myself and curse my fate. Performance classes are different than other kinds of academic classes. We give each other criticism. We give each other back rubs. We get criticism. A lot of criticism. But we kiss each other. <laughs> sort of. We fight each other. Sort of. We watch each other perform. Without texting. We need to be able to talk about really personal things. Our past, our thoughts, our feelings. Our bodies. Without grossing everybody out too much. It can get confusing! We're going to look at some common situations in performance class. The giving and receiving of criticism, uh, sharing and oversharing, appropriate touch and where to look. Situations that are sometimes tricky to navigate. Uh, performance students sometimes have a hard time knowing what actions or responses are expected or appropriate. And the answer may not be in the syllabus. What to do. And what not to do. Constructive criticism is an invaluable part of learning in any artistic field. Directors, teachers, and other classmates may offer constructive criticism or feedback. For actors, this feedback is essential for understanding how our actions on stage are perceived by the audience and how effective we are or aren't at communicating the story of the play. It helps us grow as artists when we can see our work from another point of view. Uh, does anybody have any feedback for Van's poem? Uh, yes, Carlos. Yes, you were too quiet, and you messed up the meter, and you didn't pronounce these four words correctly. Uh, Carlos, we when don't give... Dis when in maybe? disgrace with fortune in men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state. Okay, that's enough, Carlos, thanks. Yeah, Carlos, that's more than enough. It's my poem, not yours. What? I was just being honest. Even if you are being honest, it's important to offer criticism in a way that doesn't hurt another's feelings. If someone is hurt by what you say, they're less likely to value your input. And piling too many critiques on one person can make them feel attacked. One useful method is to offer a feedback sandwich. That is one compliment, a criticism, and another compliment. In this way, your classmate understands what is working as well as what isn't working. Job, Van. Uh, does anybody have any feedback for Van's poem? Uh, yeah, Carlos. Yeah, when you took your time and breathed, you sounded a lot more confident. Okay, awesome. Anything else? Yeah, sometimes the images could be clearer, like when you talked about this man's art and that man's scope. I didn't understand what you meant. So, be more specific. Yeah, and when you stressed the last word in the sentence, I understood the meaning a lot better. All right, great. Thanks, Carlos. It really helped. Even the most confident student may cringe when critiqued. It's scary to be vulnerable in a scene or an exercise and then receive criticism. As performance students, we need to learn to give and receive constructive criticism. It's a part of the training. Criticism is constructive because it builds you up, doesn't break you down. And constructive criticism from a trusted person is focused on an idea, a choice, or a performance. It may be your idea, your choice, your performance, but it's not a judgment on how worthwhile you are as a person. I shouldn't be in his debt, he should be in mine! Thank you. Athena, I have some notes for you on your monologue. Okay. Okay, so it's great that you're off book and your stakes are really high, but your choice to yell didn't work so well. But my character is angry. Yes, and some yelling makes sense. But if you yell too much, it makes the audience tune out. But it says she's angry in the script. I practice it this way, and if it's not interesting, then maybe I should just quit. No, 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 no. All you need to do is to find some different ways to express your are anger. Are you saying she's not angry? Because when people are angry, they yell. Criticism is about making your work stronger. Welcome it. Stay open to new ideas and avoid arguing. 
even if you disagree with the note, just listen, write it down, and try it out. It might help, or it might lead to new discoveries. And if you're still feeling upset after writing down your note, ask to take a short break. Well, sometimes this isn't possible, but if it is, you can get a sip of water, breathe, and calm yourself, and then come back to class ready to work. Athena, I have some notes for you on your monologue. Okay, uh, let me get something ready to write it down. Great. Okay, so it's great that you're off book and that you had really high stakes, but your choice to yell, it made me tune out. Okay, what can I do? Um, well, let's look at the monologue again and let's see if you can find some different tactics for expressing your anger, like, like shaming or, or ridiculing or mocking. Okay, um, maybe I could laugh at him because he's being so ridiculous? Yeah, absolutely, that's a great idea. In an acting voice or movement class, uh, it's important to speak about our discoveries and experiences in order to gain new awareness or to let go of bad habits. However, even in the intimacy and safety of a performance class, there are still things we should keep private. Lo, what is wrong? Why do you keep stopping? My pubes keep getting caught on something and it's bothering me. Ew! Gross! Lo, come on! It's best to keep some issues private when in class or rehearsal. Issues involving your genitals or your bodily functions are best kept to yourself. If you share too much personal information, it can make others feel uncomfortable and they might start to avoid you. Instead, use a more general term such as a personal problem or issue. Ask permission to go to a private place such as a restroom or a dressing room, take care of the problem, and then come right back without mentioning what happened. Ha ha la 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 Ha ha la 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 Mo, what is wrong? Why do you keep stopping? I'm sorry, I'm having an issue. I'll be right back. Can I use the restroom? Sure, hurry back. Okay. Everything okay? Yeah, thanks. I can start now. Alright, let's continue. In performance class, actors often need to have physical contact with each other. And because they need to have physical contact, they have a greater responsibility to communicate and take care of each other. Ready? Hey, Eddie! What you drinking? Nothing. Get out of here. Eddie, don't you recognize me? Come on, Frankie the Firecracker. We were in basic together and- Stop your yakking! I don't know you, and you don't know me! <sighs> Dude, you can't put your hand over my mouth! But I can't I, breathe! But I need to stretch you up or you'll blow my cover! I don't care, it's called acting! Don't put your hand in my mouth! It is best to avoid forcing any movement on your partner. It can make them uncomfortable or even angry. If the physical impulse to touch is there, try almost touching. It can be very powerful and express the same impulse while remaining safe and respectful. Eddie? Hey, Eddie! What you drinking? Nothing, get out of here. Eddie, don't you recognize me? Come on, Frankie the Firecracker. We were in basic together. Stop! You're yakking! I don't know you, and you don't know me. Dude, that move was awesome! You completely shut me down and you didn't even have to touch me! Yeah, I think it works. Certain places on the body are off limits when working on a scene. Don't touch your partner's genitals, breasts, inside of mouth, inside of nose, or inside of ears. People may feel startled, uncomfortable, or even threatened if you touch them there. Don't do anything that can keep your partner from breathing. If the text calls for a kiss, discuss it with your partner and work it out in advance. Don't use your tongue. If the text demands you touch one of these off-limits places, make sure to discuss it with your partner and make sure it's okay. Ow! Stop! Stop! That's it! I'm asking for another partner! Why? This scene's going so well! No, it's not! You grabbed me too hard, your hands were all over me, and last time you stuck your tongue halfway down my throat. But I'm supposed to be seducing you. You're just creeping me out. 
Make sure you are touching only with necessary force, not too hard. Your partner may have health issues that you don't know about. It's up to you to keep your partner safe and make sure they're comfortable. You have to work on touch in a scene much as you would stage combat. Ask permission, choreograph it, and stay in communication with each other. If it's just too uncomfortable, talk it over with your teacher. Okay, so in the next beat of the script, it says that you have to profess your love and then you take me into your arms and kiss me. So, is that okay? If you're okay with it. How do you want to do it? Okay, um, I'll walk down stage of you and then you can take my hand as I walk past. Okay, then I bring you toward me. Okay, um, and then you can just put that hand there. Okay, does that work for you? Yeah. And then I move in and kiss. Okay. Okay, let's do that from the top. Looking at or near your partner's eyes can convey that you are paying attention to them. However, for some people, it can be distracting or even overwhelming to focus on another's eyes. Even though they may actually be paying attention, they are perceived by the audience and by their partner to be ignoring the other person on the stage. What a noise the stove is making. The wind howled in the chimney the night before father died, made a noise just like that. Are you superstitious then? Yes. How strange. You're a wonderful, marvelous woman. You're, you're wonderful, marvelous. It's dark in here, but I can see your eyes shining. There's more light over here. I love you. I, I love you. I love you. I love your eyes. I, I love the way you move. I, I dream about you. This isn't working. You keep talking about how much you love my eyes, but you're not even looking at me. You seem more interested in the chair. Try to establish eye contact during some parts of your scene. If it is too difficult for you to maintain eye contact with your scene partner, just let him or her know. You can look at or near your partner's face, between the eyebrows or at the nose, for example. That will work just as well. However, don't look just at your partner's face and nothing else. Yeah, in life, we don't maintain eye contact all the time. You can look at your partner when you need to see how they're reacting, or when the play calls for it. What a noise the stove is making. The wind howled in the chimney the night before father died, made a noise just like that. Are you superstitious then? Yes. How strange. You're a wonderful, marvelous woman. You're, you're wonderful, marvelous. It, it's dark in here, but I can see your eyes shining. There's more light over here. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love your eyes. I, I love the way you move. I dream about you. That was so much better. Oh my gosh. It made more sense and it felt like we were really connecting. Yeah, definitely. Performance classes can be wonderful, but they can be challenging too. If you keep the following points in mind, you can navigate the challenges and help make your classmates feel more comfortable too. When giving criticism, try a criticism sandwich. One compliment, one criticism, and one more compliment. Your classmates will appreciate the feedback that much more when it's phrased like this. When receiving criticism, listen without arguing, write it down, and give it a try in your next rehearsal. Your teacher and classmates will know that you're receptive to their point of view. Even though we share a lot about ourselves in class, issues involving our genitals and bodily functions are too personal to talk about. Using a general term such as a private problem allows you to take care of your issues without embarrassing yourself and making others uncomfortable. People feel uncomfortable if you touch personal places, and you could get in trouble. Don't prevent someone from breathing, and don't touch them too hard. When a scene requires touch, whether it's kissing or combat, discuss it in advance, come to an agreement, and choreograph it in rehearsal. Acting often requires you to focus on your scene partner, but you don't have to look your partner in the eyes if that's too distracting. Try looking elsewhere on the face if you like. Just make sure to let your partner know so they understand what's going on. Wishing me more like to one in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring this man's heart and that man's scope, with what I most enjoy, contented least. We all have rough days. Actors, directors, designers, we can get upset. Mostly because we feel passionate about what we do and we want to do better. Yet, in these thoughts, myself almost despising. Go if you need to. Ask for a break, 
breathe and regroup. Haply I think on thee, and then my state, like to the lark at break of day, arising from cell and earth, sings hymns at heaven's gate. Actors are an accepting bunch. We all have our own issues that we're working on, but the theater binds us together. For thy sweet love remembered, such wealth brings, that then I'd scorn to change my state with kings. And we wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Academic Video Services within the Division of Information Technology at Florida International University.